just crossed into California and the first town is called Needles and that's where we're going to stay for the night and staying at a place called Fenders. Um, I think it's usually kind of like an RV type place but they also have hotel rooms and or motel rooms so that's where I'm going to stay. Got a discount for having a Route 66 uh, trip so if you're going to stay at Fenders let them know that and you'll get a discount. Let's check out Fenders and then we'll get some rest and then um, We'll explore California for the next couple days. Now in California, and the first town along the way is Needles, California. They got this awesome sign slash wagon to welcome you to town. So I uh, don't know what to expect from California. I know that we're going through the Mojave Desert today. Um, the one of the good things is already is that I'm wearing shorts for the first time on the whole trip. So excited about that. Let's check out California.
is my last night overnight in on Route 66, so I thought I would end it with kind of a obviously another historical type uh, Route 66 place. So let's check it out. Okay, it's the last day on Route 66. Um, short drive, it's only 79 miles from San Bernardino to Santa Monica. I've been also kind of dreading today for a couple of reasons. One is that it's the end of the trip and I've really enjoyed the trip. And I'm hoping that, um, you know, this video I get to, I'm able to show you how much fun it was and how many really interesting things it were and how many beautiful, how many beautiful things that are between Chicago and Santa Monica on this route. Um, but the other reason is today is just to drive through the city and that's probably my least favorite part of the trip whether it's been Chicago or St. Louis or Oklahoma City or probably now Los Angeles um, those are probably my least favorite parts of the trip so uh, I'm not looking forward to that although I do, I'm hoping there's some cool things to check out between here and there so we'll we will head out of this unique parking lot at the Wigwam Hotel and then we will uh, head to the beach This is Mel's drive-in, and this is the official end of Route 66. There is one more spot to go that is more the, uh, I guess, traditional or touristy place to end, and uh, so let's head there now. As I'm sitting here on the beach in Santa Monica, uh, the trip has now ended. And I guess the, the question would be, was it worth it? <clears throat> and I would absolutely say yes. With the, the minor exceptions of the big cities, uh, the entire trip was, was definitely worth it. It was long. If you're 
planning on doing this trip, I would, uh, you know, definitely make sure you're committed to it because it is long. And if you're doing it by yourself, definitely make sure you're organized. And, um, but be, be prepared for an adventure. And it was definitely an adventure. And what a way to end it than right here, looking at the Pacific Ocean at sunset in Santa Monica. So hope you all enjoyed watching the video and, and my adventure and, and maybe it'll motivate some other people to try Route 66. I thought it was fantastic.